You know how all the popular eateries of today boast of fresh ingredients, unique toppings, and clean places? That's exactly how White Castle became famous. Yes, that same place where Harold and Kumar went to chow down on a ton of sliders was at one time the pinnacle of innovation and responsible for changing the entire way Americans eat. And they owe it all to a tiny hamburger. Here's what you don't know about White Castle's famous sliders. Good morrow, sir, and welcome to the Castle of White. The first fast food hamburger. McDonald's may be synonymous with fast food, but White Castle beat them to the punch by nearly two decades. In 1921, Billy Ingram and Walter Anderson decided to open a restaurant focusing on the relatively newfangled sandwich called the hamburger. After their first joint in Wichita, Kansas proved popular, they soon opened branches in El Dorado, Kansas, and Omaha, Nebraska, becoming the first hamburger fast food chain in the world. Why White? Thanks to shocking exposés like Upton Sinclair's The Jungle, the meat industry had a bit of a bad name back in the day. To counter that, Ingram and Anderson decided they would show how pristine their operation was by painting the building white and using stainless steel on the inside so no stains could hide anywhere. The marketing gimmick worked, and White Castle was born. Burger Design White Castle had a secret to getting their burgers out quickly. They were wicked tiny. In fact, they're so thin, White Castle can make 18 of them with just one pound of beef. That allows them to be cooked faster. But originally, they still weren't being cooked fast enough. White Castle pioneered the art of searing both sides of the burger to keep the flavor in, something other chains like Five Guys and Steak and Shake later emulated, but it still took too long to cook them. So in the early 1950s, a White Castle cook from Cincinnati by the name of Earl Howell suggested they poke little holes in the patties to cook them faster. It worked, leading to the burgers you know and love today. Onion Time White Castle used to flip their burgers, but like searing, it just took too much time. So now they simply put the burger on top of a pile of onions and let the burger cook via onion steam. They then lock in that steam bath by plopping the bottom bun on the burger while it's still cooking. It's this onion method that gives White Castle sliders their unique taste, as each burger ends up paired with roughly two ounces of rehydrated onions, just enough to provide that special flavor. The burger content. White Castle boldly claims they use 100% beef, which is nice, even though it doesn't mean a whole lot. Ground beef can be any cut of cow, though the Department of Agriculture says it can't have more than 30% fat. So how much fat does White Castle beef have exactly? Each tiny slider packs 6 grams of fat, 2.5 of which is saturated. And with all that fat comes the calories, with 140 a slider. So if you pick up a Crave case of 30 sliders, you're looking at almost 4,200 calories. Science in the 1930s, hamburgers had a bad reputation, so White Castle co-founder Billy Ingram commissioned University of Minnesota physiological chemistry professor Jesse McClendon to do a study proving White Castle burgers were safe to eat. Test subject Bernard Flesh, a med student at the university, spent the next 13 weeks eating only White Castle burgers and survived the experience intact. The study, Ingram said, showed that people could eat nothing but our sandwiches and water and fully develop all physical and mental faculties. Flesh later became a doctor and died of heart problems at age 54, and according to his daughter, he never willingly ate hamburgers again. They have a food truck. There are just over 400 White Castle locations spread across only 13 states, so there's a pretty good chance you've never had a White Castle slider. Luckily, there's a solution. The White Castle Cravemobile food truck, which drives around the country, selling sliders outside events like fairs or NASCAR races. In 2015, they parked outside the Orlando theme park Fun Spot and sold over 10,000 sliders in a single day. And if you can't find the food truck, you can also check your local supermarket, as White Castle is the nation's top distributor of frozen burgers. They're exactly the same as the burgers in the restaurants, but you'll have to supply your own pickle. Sliders Even if you're the biggest White Castle fan in the world, you might be spelling their signature burger wrong. Technically, the trademark term is sliders, though even White Castle doesn't always remember to use that silly Y, referring to them on their own website as the original slider. Harold and Kumar go to Krispy Kreme 
Let's be real, when you hear White Castle, you think Harold and Kumar. But that almost never happened because the movie's producers first approached Krispy Kreme instead. They declined, though, as something about a couple kids stoned out of their minds apparently didn't sit well with the image they wanted to sell donuts. Instead, White Castle stepped in and etched their name into pop culture history. Damn, that hit the spot. That was the best meal of my life. Thanks for watching. Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.